What's going on guys? Welcome back to the video here on the World of Juice channel. Welcome to another new series that I'm bringing to the channel. I had this idea in my head for a while and I finally decided to take it into action. It is going to be on NBA 2K20 and you probably can already see by the the in the top right corner the tie, the name of the team, the Buckeyes, the Ohio State Buckeyes. Because we are going to be doing an NCAA 2K20 series here on the channel that hopefully will run alongside the Chicago Bears Legends Fantasy Draft series that will enter uh, Season 7 probably by this point. I don't know if I've uploaded the video. I don't know if I will have uploaded the video by now or not. But I probably will. I don't know. That's that's future or that's past me. I, I don't know what it is. It's the future time travels crazy. <laughs> but anyway, that doesn't matter. But what matters is the NCAA 2K20 series will start on the channel. This is the introductory episode, I guess, you can where we we learn about the team, we see who else is in the league, we see uh, the best players in the league, we we get uh, acclimated with the schedule and stuff, and then and then the next episode we play game one. So let's get right into it. We are obviously going to be the Ohio State Buckeyes. They are my favorite team. They're my hometown team. They're my my favorite college team. Obviously, football, basketball, baseball, lacrosse, hockey. I <laughs> I don't watch anything other than basketball and football. But I mean that doesn't matter. I'm uh, Ohio State fans so that's why I pick them uh, I know that might make a lot of people mad when they realize who else is in this who else is in this um this league they might want to see me play as like Kentucky or or Duke or something like that but this is who we are going to be going up against in this series we have the Iowa Hawkeyes the Clemson Tigers, Kentucky Wildcats, Virginia Cavaliers, North Carolina, Duke, South Carolina, Florida, VCU, St. Francis, that's right, the Terriers are in the game, Michigan State, Syracuse, Maryland, and Ohio State, along with Georgia, LSU, Louisville, Cincinnati, there's LSU, and that is the Eastern Conference, and then the Western Conference, Nova, Gonzaga, Baylor, Washington, Seton Hall, Oregon, Utah State, Nevada, Marquette, Arizona, Harvard, <laughs> Harvard, Kansas, Memphis, Iowa State, Texas Tech, USC, Xavier, and Colorado. Those are the teams in each conference. And I tried to um, I tried to to get the the conference the divisions as close as I could. So uh, do they have the divisions? League standings. I can't get to. I can't see the divisions that we're in. Can I not see the divisions? I don't know. But I tried to put. I don't know where the division to find the divisions are. Maybe I have to go further into the season to to see that. But anyway. I put, like, the Big Ten teams, the teams that are in the Big Ten in real life, I tried to put them in the same division. So Iowa is in our division. Um, anybody else? Uh, Maryland is in the division. Michigan State is there. We're there, obviously. I think I put Cincinnati in there because they're an Ohio team. I'm not 100% sure. Wait, what's the central? Oh, I found our team. Okay. So I put these teams in here. I put Virginia in there because uh, I don't know why I put Virginia. Why did I put Virginia in there? Who's over here that could have been put in there? Save. I could have put Xavier in there. What? Did I, I guess I messed that up. But anyway, I put most of the Big Ten teams in there, the ones that are in the game at least, and then Cincinnati and Virginia to fill out the Big Ten, and then. Uh, that's going to be our division, the Big Ten division, I guess, in air quotes, you can say the Big Ten division. And then if anybody's wondering uh, how I did it, um, I know there are probably going to be some comments uh, asking how I did it. So I'll tell you guys. I just went to 
I, I started up a season with um, all the, the guys, all the teams, the regular teams, and then I went to upload, download team design, and I put in Skilla's uh, Kill, which is S-K-I-L-L-A-Z-K-I-L-L, which is all one word, and you put that in the search bar, and then it comes up with all the college jerseys and stadiums and stuff, so you just put that in the in the search bar click it and then you can go through all of that guy's uh all of that guy's work that he's done he's done some some really good job he does it every year and and i'm very impressed with the stuff he's done so i just wanted to give a shout out to him real quick uh because it, i couldn't be doing this without him he, he made the roster as well so let's uh, speaking of the roster let's check out the roster the ohio state bucket this is 2020 or 2019 2020 roster so uh, there's no Zion. There's no R.J. Barrett. This this is this year's roster. So we got R.J. Wesson, Caleb Wesson, D.J. Carton, E.J. Liddell, Alonzo Gaffney, Luther Muhammad, Musa Jallo, C.J. Walker, Kyle Young, Justin Aarons, Harrison Hoofkin. <laughs> Hook, oh, it's Hookfin. I thought it was Hoofkin. I read the K and the F backwards. Hookfin. Ibrahim uh, Diala. Uh, Dwayne Washington and Danny Hummer. Those are your Ohio State Buckeyes for this year. And I don't know if I want to go in and break down each guy because uh, that's, that's going to take a while. But let's just do a little bit of a breakdown. Andre Wesson is probably going to be our leading scorer, mostly because he is our highest rated player. But I have a feeling that DJ Carton is going to be the leading scorer in the, in the long run because I like to score with my point guard when I play. Uh, because I like to control the offense with my point guard. So unless I'm playing with LeBron James, <laughs> and then I'm not going to do that. But DJ Carton will my, most likely be our leading scorer. He's got a B minus three point shot. So that's probably going to be where we get our offense from. And I'm not seeing anybody. Justin Aarons is the only one who has an A minus three point or an A or better three point besides Andre Weston. So our three shot is not going to be where it's where it needs to be in season one. But that's okay because uh, we'll we'll train and get better throughout the season. Now I know you guys are itching to see who else is in on these rosters, so I'm <clears throat> I'm gonna start from uh, where should I start? I'll start from Arizona. No, I'll start from North Carolina because I saw North Carolina. So they got Cole Anthony, obviously the ESPN top 100, one of the top players in that thing. So he's here. Uh, then you got VCU with some nice players, 75 overall, Marcus Evans. Arizona's got Josh Green, Nico Mannion. He's pretty good, Nico Mannion. Then you got the Utah State with people that I'm not really familiar with. Xavier's got Najee Marshall and Tyreek Jones. I feel like Marshall's going to be a big problem when we play Xavier. Uh, Florida's got Keontae Johnson, Scotty Lewis, Kerry Blackshear. Uh, Nova, Colin Gillespie, Brian Antoine, and Jermaine or Jeremiah Robinson Earl. Uh, Gonzaga, Corey Kispert, Admin Gilder, Ryan Woldridge. Some pretty decent guys. Not anybody scary, I would I would say. We have a better team than them. Uh, Washington, Jaden McDaniels is going to be an absolute monster, along with Isaiah Stewart. That um, front court is absolutely deadly. 6'9". Both these guys are 6'9". Both 76 overall. These guys are going to be hard to score against. Uh, LSU, Skyler Mays, Trendon Watford. These two boys right here. Absolute killers. Killers. Skyler Mays, 23 years old. One of the oldest guys in the league. He's technically a senior, I guess you could say. But he's going to be a problem. Uh, then you got Colorado, Tyler Bay, and McKinley Wright. Probably... The two best players, one of the two of the best players in the league, both playing for Colorado, going to be a problem. Uh, Kentucky, Nate Sestina and Khalil Whitney. Khalil Whitney is probably going to be a problem along with Sestina. And then you got Tyrese Maxey. Talk about exciting freshmen, Tyrese Maxey. But everybody else is kind of depressing and, and lackluster. EJ Montgomery is kind of good, I guess. Kansas, Devin Dodson. This is this is where it gets ugly. Kansas has Devin Dodson, Ud Udoku, or wait, wait, let me let me get this right. Udoka Azubuki, I think is how you say his name. Isaiah Moss. I'm not even gonna pronounce that name. So Kansas is gonna be a problem throughout the season. Harvard, 
I still can't believe Harvard's in the game. Harvard, Seth Towns, Bryce Aiken, and Noah Kirkwood. They're not going to be much of a challenge, I wouldn't assume. Maryland, Anthony Cohen Jr., Jalen Smith, Eric Ayala. Ayala, I think is how you say that name. Andrew Wiggins? No, Aaron Wiggins. Uh, Virginia, the defending national champions, Sam Hauser, Braxton Key, Mamadi Daki, Daki, I don't know how to say your name, but you're the only one that's back from last season, I'm pretty sure, unless Sam Hauser was there, but you're the most important one that's back from last year, uh, Mark Vitell for the Baylor Bears, Tristan Clark, Massey Teague. I don't know who that is, but he sounds, he has a cool name and I like it. Uh, Memphis, here he is. I think you're the best player in the league. James Wiseman, the freshman from Memphis, is going to be absolutely the most dominant player in this league. And then they've also got Precious Achua. Ach- Achua? I don't know how to say your name, but you're also good. So we got to look out for Memphis throughout this season. They're going to be an absolute monster to go up against then you got georgia with anthony edwards and donald grisham jr ray sean hammonds uh iowa state has tyrese halliburton and michael jacobson not much of an issue texas tech has chris clark tj holyfield texas tech is uh coming back from a final four appearance last year they definitely uh are gonna be a problem usc not much Going on here, Nick Raka, Rakasevic. Uh, Seton Hall has Miles Powell. Actually, Miles Powell, 81 overall. He might be the best one in the league. I didn't know there was a guy 81 overall in the league. Actually, he's only 80 overall originally, but he's got that boost, that one overall boost that puts him at 81 overall. So him and James uh, or James Wiseman, I think is his name. Is that his name? Yeah. Uh, he's going to be – they're the two best players so far. Cassius Win no, I take it back. Cassius Winston, 82 overall. So far, he is the best uh, player in the league from Michigan State, a senior from Michigan State. And then I also have senior Joshua Langford. And then uh, Rocket Watts. They got, they got a guy named Rocket Watts, who's a freshman. Uh, then you got, back to the Buckeyes, we've gone through them. Oregon, the Oregon Ducks. Shakur Justin, or Justin. Uh, Anthony Mathis. Peyton Pritchard. Then you got Marquette. Marquette. Oh, Marcus Howard. A sophomore from Marquette. 84 overall. Marcus Howard is definitely the best player. I I, I needed I should, probably should have went through these before I I started this video, but that's what makes it funny. That's what makes it funny. So Marcus Howard so far with an 84 overall is the best player in the league. Duke has Trey Jones, Vernon Carey, Matthew Hurt, uh, Cassius Stanley, uh, Joey Baker. They got a decent team. Probably not going to be much of an issue for the Buckeyes. St. Francis Terriers. <laughs> Absolute joke, this team. I don't know why I put them in here. I thought it'd be funny from the memes. Their best player is a 70 overall. Uh, Sarah Cuse, the Cuse, Elijah Hughes, Quincy Garrier, and Buddy Bohe- or Boheim. Um, let's go to Nevada next. Jalen Harris, Lindsey Drew, Jazz Johnson. Not much of an issue for Nevada. Clemson Tigers, good in football, not in basketball. Jonathan Bayer- Berry. Uh, Amir Sims, not much to, to to talk about there. South Carolina, Justin Mina, Minaya, and uh, A.J. Lawson for South Carolina. Iowa has Joe Weiskamp, absolute beast, Joe Weiskamp. He's a Buckeye killer. Uh, Jordan Bohannon, they could be a problem, especially Weiskamp is going to be a problem for the Buckeyes, but nothing else really. And then you got Cincinnati with Jaron Cumberland, 80 overall at 23 years old. Pretty decent team. Uh, Louisville has Jordan and Wara, who's going to be an absolute problem. Dwayne Sutton also will be a problem. Uh, then you got back to North Carolina, and that's everybody in the team or in the league. Uh, if you're curious about the staff, here is who we have. Uh, Chris Holtman as our head coach. Uh, if you want to see everybody else's uh, head coaches, Oregon has Dana Altman, Steve Wojcicki, 
uh, Coach K for Duke, that guy, Jim Boheim for Syracuse, Steve Alford for Nevada, Brad Brownwell, Frank Martin, Fran McCaffrey for Iowa, uh, Cincinnati, Chris Mack for Louisville, Roy Williams for North Carolina, even though it doesn't look anything like North, like, uh, can I edit him? It doesn't look anything like Roy Williams. Uh... Wait, what head was it? Head 26. 126. So, is there an old guy? I just need an old guy with, like, barely any hair. Roy Williams needs to have no hair. Well, he has a little bit of hair, but he's old, so... Ooh? 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 No, it doesn't really look like Roy Williams. That's Coach K right there. Head 88. I gotta go back to Coach K and see if that's head 88. Because that looks pretty good. Come on, come on. Give me a guy with no hair. What the heck? What is this? Is this a human? What the heck was that? Give me nightmares. God. There's got to be an old guy. Head coaches are all old. Where are all the old people at? Are you joking? What are these heads? These heads are out of control. These are outrageous. What is this? Like, what is this? This is a baby. This is a baby with hair. What the heck, bro? No, this isn't Roy Williams. No offense, but this isn't Roy Williams. It's just the same person. There we go. Are you kidding me that there's no, there's no older gentleman with like little hair? Come on, 2K, what the heck? I guess this is going to be the closest. That's going to be Roy Williams. But uh, let's go back to Duke real quick and check and see if that was head 88. Is that head 88? That is head 88. Good job. Good job. Oops. Okay, where were we at? We were in North Carolina. Uh, VCU's got Samuel Olson, Arizona Robert Mills, Nathan Mason, Cameron Lee, Kevin Nicholson, Thomas Spencer, Joe, Jose, Jose Washington, I think? Hunter Thomas, Jordan Malone, Kyle Rose, Caleb Rogers. Wait, what? Caleb Rogers for Kentucky. Oh, oops. Those aren't the head coaches. Let's go back to North Carolina. Mike Rhodes. Sean Miller. There we go. I was wondering where we were getting these guys. Craig Smith. Travis Steele. Mike White. Jay Wright for Villanova. Mark Few. Mike Hopkins. Will Wade. <laughs> Will Wade. Oh, my God. Tad Boyle. John. There's John Calipari. Bill Self. He's got his own problems. Oh, Harvard. You're a joke. Mark Turgeon. Tony Bennett. Defending national champion head coach Scott Drew. Scott Drew, Penny Hardaway, baby, Tom Crean, Steve Prom, Chris Beard, Andy Enfield, Kevin Williard, Tom Izzo, Chris Holtman, back to the, the Holtman. So those are all the head coaches. I think I've gone through everything that you guys need to see for this introduction episode. I guess I can show you the lineup. We'll have DJ Carton, Luther Muhammad, Andre Wesson, EJ Liddell, and Caleb Wesson. As our starting five, uh, six man off the bench will be Alonzo Gaffney, uh, C.J. Walker, Kyle Young, Musa Jallo. Those guys will be getting minutes. Hummer will be on the bench. Uh, I'm going to drop some minutes down from Musa and Kyle Young because I want to get Justin Aarons a few minutes. And I want to get Ibrahim Adaala a couple of minutes. Because Ibrahim, I feel like, is going to be an absolute force for us. How tall is he? How tall is he? He is 6'10". Yeah, he's one of the taller guys in the league. So he's going to be a, a monster for us in the paint. So that is the that is the starting lineup and the depth for us. Uh, I guess I can show you the prospects. We have the 2021 draft class for coming up for next season. So all the real guys, uh, Evan Mobley's here, Jalen Johnson, Jalen Green, Cade Cunningham, all the notable faces are here. Zaire Wade is here, who probably is going to be our target because uh, he's Zaire Wade. But um, 
all the notable faces are here that you would think of when you when you think of uh, the 2021 draft class. Uh, Sharif O'Neal is probably going to be a big uh, a, a big choice for this draft. Marcus Bagley's here. R.J. Hampton from uh, New Zealand, over in New Zealand, he's going to be a uh, big uh, target for the Buckeyes. So that is the the draft, the prospects, and I think that's everything. Free agents obviously are real people, but hopefully nobody, um, hopefully nobody signs any of those free agents. Oh, that reminds me, I wanted to say, I wanted to tell you guys one more thing. Uh, I put trading off i turned off all cpu trading between each other so there won't be like uh james wiseman won't get traded from memphis to duke or something like that 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 won't happen in this series the only trading will be well i turned off trading for the first season the first season trading will be off and then once we get through the off season because players are going to move i'm going to sign players but i will do my best not to sign anybody for the first season so that um, the teams are legit. It's the same teams as real life throughout the first season. And then, and then th- when, when we get to the off season after the NCAA tournament, then free agency will happen. And I can't stop people from signing people in free agency. So that's when I'll turn trading back on for the next season. And then I'll start trading with players if I want, or I'll sign some free agents if there's college free agents out there. And then that's how that's going to happen. So I just wanted to let you guys know that there's not going to be any trading between CPU teams in the first season. Everybody will be on the same team for the whole, the entire first season. So I wanted to make sure I told you guys that. Oh, and speaking of the NCAA tournament, I made it um, the, the well the NBA playoffs. I made it one game per series. So it's just like the NCAA tournament. So the first round, the round of 64, will be the round of 16, basically the Sweet 16. <laughs> will start automatically. Everybody will be in the Sweet 16. And then they win that game. They move on to the next game after one game to the Elite Eight, then the Final Four, then the NCAA Championship game. So that's how the playoffs will work. And I th- I think that's everything. I think that is everything I needed to say in this introductory episode. Uh, the In the next episode, we will play the first game of the season against the USC. And then probably how I'm gonna how I'm gonna do it is I'll probably play one game per month, even though actually yeah I'll probably do one game per month. Uh, I'll probably do USC, but since USC is October 22nd, I'll probably skip all of November and go right to December, and I'll play I'll play the Christmas Eve game against um, against Kansas. And then I'll skip to January, and I'll play. Uh, I'll probably play Duke. I'll probably play play Duke at home in January. Then I'll go to February. We'll play the All Star game. That's the All Star selection, so where the teams will be picked. So we'll have an episode on that. A little quick, little like it'll probably be like a ten minute episode or something. But we'll we'll pick the All Star teams, and then February I will play. Well, February will be special because I'll probably play. Florida, maybe Clemson or I'll, I'll I don't know I'll decide when we get there and then we'll play all the All Star the All Star weekend will be its own episode and then we'll play March doesn't really have much I mean we might have to play it'll be between Kentucky and Michigan State I probably want to play Michigan State because it's a big ten, a Big Ten team so and then we'll finish up I feel like we have to play. See, we have to play uh, the Terriers. We have to play St. Francis. But I do kind of want to play Memphis and James Wiseman just to see how bad we, we get beat. So that's probably how I'm going to do it. One one game per month to get through because I don't want this to get bogged down really, really bad. Just like the, the other two series that I do, the uh, Utah Jazz and the Chicago Bears. I don't want those series to get bogged down. I mean, we are starting... Uh, we are getting pretty far in the Chicago Bears series, so... It seems to work out pretty well and play not playing that many games. So, yeah, that's gonna be this uh, this new NCAA series that I'm doing on the channel. I'm super excited for this. I hope you guys are too. If you are, remember to smash that like button. Let me know. Hit the notification bell and the subscription button while you're down there. It only takes about 
a second maximum to hit all three of those buttons and it really helps me out i really do appreciate it it means the world to me and i will see you guys in season number one episode number two against the utah not the utah against the usc trojans if i could get my outro right then i'll see you guys there see ya